Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel, also known as the Aligner Bee. And I'm here today at the American Association of Orthodontists meeting in New Orleans. And I wanted to check out the new 3D printer that was just released by Form Labs. Most of us know Form Labs from using stereolithography style printing. They have just released the new Form 4B that is now a mask SLA technology that can greatly reduce our print times when we're printing with our assistant driven workflows in the orthodontic space. With the new Form B printer, there has been a change to the optic system. The traditional SLA that most of us in visualize of the laser tracing the model on the build platform created very smooth models. However, it had a slower print time. Now with the new mask SLA technology, orthodontic models that are printed horizontal can now be printed with mask SLA in approximately eight minutes. Let's take a look at how this works with the optics. So Form Labs has designed a new optical display unit. As we can see here, we can see our optical system that would be sitting in the 3D printer. When we remove the upper glass, we're able to see that there are some elements in the glass system that is in contact with our build platform. This has a heating element internally and this can be changed if it is damaged by resin. We can also see the new innovative light system that's been designed for use with the mask SLA process. With these incredibly fast print speed times, we're going to be able to utilize this new system both to help us with our same day starts and with our same day aligners. Form Labs has an entire ecosystem designed around the new system. So we have our Form 4B printer. They have the traditional form wash that I've used in my practice for many years and a new light curing unit that significantly reduces the curing times. One of the interesting accessories that Form Labs has is the Flexi platform. This is very helpful because it allows for easy removal of the prints from the build platform. As we can see here, when the base flexes, it will cause the models to peel away from the metal base material. With the new printing style, transitioning from traditional SLA to mask SLA, we can see that printing a large number of models, for instance, we have 11 models here, will all have the same print time, whether we print one model or all 11. This build platform I printed previously in eight minutes. So really creating a great speed reduction so that we can have retainers and aligners ready for our patients on the same day. One of the commitments that Form Labs has to the dental industry and its continued innovation has been the reformulation of some of the resins for the new 3D printing system. The new resin cartridge size is great for storage. The overall size of the resin cartridges is much smaller. However, it still holds one liter of material. The new valve design also allows for much quicker filling of the resin tank. One of the things that I was most excited to hear about as well is the reduction in the resin prices for model resin. So when I do a lot of high volume printing in my office, it is rare that we actually see a price reduction in a material. This is gonna be a tremendous help in my workflow and how I can apply this technology for more patients. So as we can see some great innovation here from Form Labs, with our assistant driven workflows in our practice, our goal is really to train our team members so that they can undertake this process for us. With the new eight minute print time, we're able to run a more efficient laboratory that uses less assistant time so that we can dedicate more time to the clinical space and to the aligner or retainer fabrication.
With Form Lab's continued dedication to innovation, it has been amazing to see the transition from the traditional SLA system to the new mask SLA and the reduced print speed times. I look forward to seeing some of the continued innovation and changes from Form Labs in the future. For more information on technology, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Alinerbee.